nursing has always been my passion. Um, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in 1974 at Loyola University in Chicago. Um, I had wanted to go to Michael Reese Hospital because I liked their cap. <laughs> um, I started my career at the Rehab Institute of Chicago working with disabled people. Um, a lot of young adults with spinal cord injuries and most of the work involved helping prepare people to go home. When I decided to go back to school and get advanced education, I really um, wanted to be practice-based. So my master's degree is as a nurse practitioner. It helped me with credibility with the staff and with other people that I worked with. And I loved taking care of patients. I've worked at four different colleges and universities as a dean, and I also teach nursing students, both on ground and online. About a year and a half ago, I decided it was time to work for me, not somebody else. And I started my own company. It's called Road Scholars RN, the Conscious Nurse Academy. And my whole mission there is to inspire nurses to lead their ideal lives, both personally and professionally. I think the big break for me deciding to become a nurse was actually at age 15, becoming a full-time 40-hour week candy striper. It was a volunteer role in a hospital, and it was my mother's way of occupying my time as a 15-year-old. And I realized that I really enjoyed the interaction with other professionals and with patients, and the whole healthcare environment interested me. So I got hooked, and um, that was a long time ago. My mentor, who was one of my faculty members, kept encouraging me to continue and get a, a doctorate in nursing. It was a long haul. It took me from 85 to 90 to complete my doctorate, but at Rush at the time, we had a practice component. So not only did I complete a dissertation, but I had to complete doctoral clinical work. And I did that with an indigent clinic with people that were um, very, very ill, but being managed at home. And I was able to help the physician prescribe and take care of those people. I would say a crowning achievement for me was when the home care program that I ran became the first nationally accredited home care organization in the country. As a team effort, we really worked hard and achieved that and got the first recognition for that. Another for me was really walking across that stage and getting my hood put on as a doctoral um, recipient and graduate. Another in my life was adopting our daughter. My husband and I um, were married for 15 years. We didn't have children, so we became foster parents. We were, a six-year-old child was placed with us and we adopted her. She's now 27. And I would have to say that the day her adoption went through was a major event in my life. The word I would choose to represent my career and the meaning of it is passion. I am intentional about what I do. It's important to me and it's my purpose. There are people and things and places that inspire me. I'm fortunate enough to have traveled to India. There's a gentleman named Sri Sri Ravi Shankar that has an ashram in India that has over a million and a half people, schools, hospitals, clinics, and he really radiates loving kindness. 
Another mentor of mine is a woman named Marcy Scheimoff. Marcy wrote a book called Happy for No Reason, and she's, um, her mentor was Jack Canfield, and he's another person whose work, he wrote a book called The Success Principles, and he's also the major force behind the Chicken Soup for the Soul books. I study his work, I reread his work, and it inspires me. Oh, I've got one other person. Um, and I've done a one-woman play in honor of her. There's a nurse who lived in the turn of the century U.S. Um, her name is, was Lillian Wald. She was Jewish, she was gay, she was from a fairly wealthy family, and she moved to the um, inner part of New York City at the time of the immigrants and the workhouses, and she founded the New York Visiting Nurse Service. My legacy and what I want to do is make a difference in the nursing population. Nurses are the largest part of the healthcare professional workforce, and I'd like to leave my legacy to help improve the effectiveness of the work we do. If I were counseling, and I have, people that are entering the nursing profession, one thing I would tell them is never stop learning. The degree you earn isn't the end, it's the beginning. So take what you have and move it forward. When I think about my family's role in my professional life, I think of um, what my husband said to me when I got my PhD, which was, are you gonna clean the bathroom now? <laughs> so his caregiving and his attention to our life needs um, supported me through school. My daughter was born HIV positive and her health and well-being has inspired me and she's inspired me. She was invited to speak at a major Chicago fundraiser and I felt like I was listening to my own eulogy when I heard her up on the stage addressing an audience of several hundred people talking about the importance of family and the change that her life had gone through um, in the adoption process was just such a proud moment. I'd like to be remembered as someone who was a catalyst for change. I'd like to be remembered for my kindness and for my sense of humor. I try to start every day with enthusiasm and positive, a positive nature, and that's kind of contagious. So I wanna be remembered for that.